hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a creative YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content and today I'm going to do a video and talking about palettes. And I don't really know who came up with this, I saw first Paulina do a video and then I saw Anilka Nyqvist do a video and Paulina saw that on, uh, saw this video um, Alessandra, Alejandra, Alessandra, Lisette, and Angelica Nyqvist talked about Julia Adams, and I will leave everything that I can find down in the description, but I'm going to talk about eyeshadow palettes, and I have picked out five different categories, and I'm going to talk about my top three in these five categories, and I do not have the same as Paulina, I do not have the same as Angelica, and I guess I don't have the same as maybe nobody other, I don't know. But I will leave which categories I am having and yeah, I think we just get started and this is what I consider to be these categories and also this is what I'm feeling now. I can change my mind. In 10 minutes, I can change my mind tomorrow. I don't know, but yeah, I think we just get started. And if you want to do this, do it. I think it's going to be so fun to see more talk about this. And if you don't have a YouTube channel, let me know down in the comments which favorites you have in different categories. So, okay, I think we just get started. I think I might well, scooch. A little bit so I can hold up the palette. Maybe that is good. I don't know. So okay, the first category is neutral eyeshadow palettes. And I was just like, okay, we just get this out of the way. And this was actually kind of easy because I know which more neutral palettes I do really like. And the first one I took is the Sweet Talk palette from ColourPop. This palette I really started to like this summer and maybe some of you don't see this as a neutral palette but I do with a hint of a peachy neutral palette and I do really like this one. First one I got it and used it I was like it's an okay palette, it's nothing special. Then I used it more this summer during my vacation and then I was like I do really understand what people see in this. And I do understand why a lot of people really do like it. It is a really good neutral palette. It doesn't look much if you just see it like this. But it is a really good palette. And I don't like that it's... I think it's this one that is pressed glitter. And I haven't used it because I don't like that. But I do like this palette. And I have used this more than I thought I was going to. And then you can ask yourself, why did you buy it? I don't know. The next one, maybe not everybody considers as a neutral palette, but this is my video and my rules. But it's, of course, the secret palette from Nabla. This is one of my absolute favorite palettes that I have in my collection. I do really love it. And yes, this has maybe quite a lot of colors for being a neutral palette, but... I do really love this one. I think the neutrals are really good, the shimmers are really good, the mattes are really good, the black is really good, and this is really a palette that you can do a neutral look if you want to, you can do a pinkish look if you want to, you can just have a little hint of color if you want that as well. I, yeah, as I said, this is one of my favorite palettes in my collection. I consider this being more to the neutral side. I understand if you don't because it has some colors, but I do really love this one. And I think it should get much more hype than it's getting because this is one of Nabla's absolutely best palettes they have. This is amazing. And if you haven't tried it and you want to try Nabla, I can really recommend it. And the third palette, this, I love this palette so much. 
I have used it a lot outside of YouTube. I have used it sometimes on YouTube. I have used it in two Instagram lives that I have had. And it is also from Nabla and it's the side by side. This palette is just amazing. I adore this palette. I think this has become my absolute favorite palette from Nabla. I think it has taken over from the Secret palette. This is just amazing. You can do whatever neutral makeup look you want to. You can really deepen it down because you have some really deep colors here. And the shimmers are so different and you can do like a gold shimmer. You can do, this one is really like, it just gives it a really nice shimmer. You can do it really dark shimmer with this Love Ritual and Better Society. But you can also keep it completely matte if you want to. I do really love this. I so, so, so much recommend it. It is amazing. It is Nabla's biggest palette. It has 16 colors. Like the Secret palette has 15. But this is just an amazing palette and it's it is such a fun and neutral palette to play with. You can do a really deep black smoky eye with it. You can do more of a grayish eye if you want to. And it's just an amazing palette to play with. I think I have used the most of the colors more than once. No, maybe this. This Rarity, I think I've used it once, but other ones I have used more than once. And I do really like this half time in my crease to get with Beauty Mark. I think it gives a really nice start to a look. And just taking Burnt Sienna and then Ray of Light or Magic Moment on my eyelid, it's, it's just an amazing look. And it's so, so easy to work with. I, I highly recommend this palette. So that was the neutral palettes and now we're going to the completely other way and this is my kind of rainbow palettes. And we can start with the first one. I wasn't sure that if I was going to include this one because I've only used it once and that is today. And it's the color palette from LH Cosmetics but I think you can see how I look. It looks amazing. So this is LH Cosmetics Rainbow Palette and this is maybe the only true rainbow palette. Now, I think the next palette is also like a true rainbow palette. I think it depends a little bit on what do you want to call a true rainbow palette. Some people is like okay it's when you have one of each colors of the rainbow and this one has and I get it. For me it's just that you have many different colors, maybe not all have to be in there, but you have many different colors and that is what I consider as a rainbow palette. If I would go for like this, then I would have two rainbow palettes, I think. Three, two, I don't know. But this one, as a first impression, this look that I've done, I do really like this palette. and. I will do more looks with this. I might have done it before you see this video. I don't know in what, in what time speed editing mode I am in. But yeah, as my first impression, I do really like this. And I think it is a really, really good rainbow palette. The next one, I guess it's also rainbow palette. And that is Serenity from uh, Minardi and Annette. Because this has... Okay, it doesn't have a red, I uh, guess that is the only it's missing, but yeah. for me this is a rainbow palette. Maybe I can hold it like this so it doesn't reflect too much. I did free looks one palette with this one and I do really, really love this palette. It is one of the best palettes I think that Nardis done and what I do really love about this, more than an orange shimmer, <laughs> the shimmers are really, really good. These brighter colors up here, they are really like bright and they do stay this color. 
If you have seen me doing a look with the Dragon Child Minority's first palette that is no longer available, I had some problems with that one. I didn't get it to like be what I wanted it to be. And I was a little bit worried when this came out with these two colors, but they work amazing. And I love that you can do... You have everything for a green look, you have everything for a pink look, you have everything for a purple look and for a blue look, and you have everything to do a dark look and also a light look. This bluish shimmer, you can deepen down any of the other colors and it works just amazing. So this is just such a good palette. I don't know if it will be any more restocks on it, but this one is so good. And the last of the rainbow palettes, but maybe not rainbow palettes, just one of the last really colorful palettes is Club Nebula. And this is not a rainbow palette per se, but I it has a lot of different colors and you can do a lot of different looks. I know that Angelica talked about this and was like, she didn't take this as a rainbow palette because it's not. But in my video it is. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say rainbow palettes. Maybe like really colorful palettes. I don't know. But this one I do really love. I've done two looks, one palette. Palette bingo first impression. I have used it in some Get Ready With Me's and this is just a palette that has helped me a lot. This year has been a rough year for me and it was a time in the beginning of the year that I just I just hated to do makeup. It, it wasn't any fun, nothing was fun, but this one, it is so easy to pick this up and do a look with it um, because each one of the rows contains at least one look and I do really love it for that and I do really love it as a colorful palette and I'm going to do a ranking or my maybe my top 10 I don't know but some kind of a ranking video with my favorite palettes of this year and I think this will be maybe in first place maybe in second place I don't know but this is going to be really high up and it has a special place in my heart not only because it's one of my favorite brand and it is with a collab with one of my friends. Not because of that, it's just, it is a really, really amazing palette and it has helped me a lot this year. So the next category is monochromatic palettes. And should I maybe start with a palette that might shock you a little bit? We can do that. And that is the Blue Moon from Colourpop. And as you may know, I, blue is not my... It's not my yes. I think blue is just not a good colour for me. It makes me look even paler, I think. I know that you give me so many compliments when I have a blue look, but I can't see it. But this a Blue Moon from Colourpop, is this... This is so good. I did three looks, two looks, three looks, two looks, one palette, three looks. And this is just such a good blue palette. It has some really dark shimmers, it has some really light shimmers, and it's just something about this palette that I do really, really like, even though I don't like blue. I don't know how it goes together with that, but I don't know, I just do really like this palette and this is one of my best monochromatic palettes I have from Colourpop. I do like the Just My Luck, the green palette, but I uh, really like this one more. And I like this more <laughs> than Orange Glad and Oh Ho... Oh, eh, ha, ha. Uh -huh, honey. The yellow one. I do like this more and I think this is really good blue palette and if you like blue I think you will love this because I do not like blue and I still love this palette. I don't know we have such a strange relationship in this palette. I do like it even though I don't like blue. The next one is Sherry on Top from Beach Cosmetics and this is the red one. It has some pink in it 
I know, but this is a really good red palette. It has a really deep matte red and a really deep shimmer red. And yeah, I, I do really like these Sweet Shop palettes from Beige Cosmetics. These are the only palettes I have. And it was a bit hard to like, I wanted to take one of them. I was thinking about taking the orange, but I do think I like this more. I'm not sure. I might like the green one more. I don't know, but it's just something about this that I do really like. And the last of the monochromatic palettes, it's a lip palette from Lethal and this is it's not white, it's bright, bright pink. And it's the Memento palette. And yeah, I know that this is not the pink, but I don't give a fuck right now. <laughs> I do love this palette. I have used this a lot this summer as well. And I love that you can do a light, fun, bubbly pink look with it. And you can also do you can deepen it down really good with this one. And I love lethal shades, I guess you know, because I guess this... If this isn't the first video you see with me, I guess you might know that I love lethal. And this palette, I bought it because it's nothing that I have in my collection. So I was like, okay, I want one of the pre-made six palettes, six pen palettes. This is something that I don't have. I bought it and I just love it. So this one is absolutely one of my favorite monochromatic palettes and I'm calling this monochromatic palettes. It is just an amazing little palette and I do love to buy singles from Lethal but I also love to buy their pre-made palettes. So let's go into a category that is pretty similar maybe to the rainbow-ish palette thingy but this is my top three fun palettes if I want something light in my looks if I want to have some fun a little pop of color in my looks I love these three palettes so the first one is Tokyo Harioko palette from Nomad and if first of all this is like the cutest palette that I have in my collection or it was at least, <laughs> because it has little cats on the shadows. You can't see the cats that good anymore. But this palette, I did the Free Looks One palette and I have some good things to say about this palette and some not that good. The good things are that some of the shimmers are amazing. Um, the orange is amazing, this purple is amazing, this pink is amazing, and these duochromes, multichromes, duochromes are really fun to play with, but not all of the shades are super good. You have to like find your way to work with it, and if you find your way, it is a really good palette. And I did find my way to work with this in the end. And I'm just happy every time I pick this palette up, open the palette, it brings a little bit of joy into my life. And <laughs> it might be like 80% of the cats because I'm a crazy cat lady. I have a cat on my shirt. It might be that, but also it has some really nice little puff, 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 pop of colors. And this was the first palette I tried from Nomad and it made me really interested in Nomad and I just think the palette is really cute and it's a really happy palette. Next up is the Pestle Pup from Menardry and it looks like this. This is a good pastel palette and I like that it has a lot of different shades. I like that it has a black one. I don't know about the white one, but I do like that it has a black one. And I do think this is a really fun palette to play with. If you want a really light, nice look, this is amazing. The only thing I don't know though, it's how it looks on deeper complexions. I am 
pretty pale and not me it works good some of the colors are a little bit like this fishy isn't super visible on me but it works maybe that is my only complaint i don't know i don't know how it is you have a different skin tone than me because this is me but i do really like it and i think it is a good pastel rainbow palette and it's just a really fun palette to play with and I think they did a good job I don't know it feels like I'm the only one that doesn't like the seal on the front of it I do like the back it has a little bit of cartoon seal I do like the back I don't know if I like I think seal cubs are so cute is it called the seal cub in English Cup. Lion cups. Is a seal baby? <laughs> but I don't know if I want it on my palette because I'm not a cute personality. But the colors are really good. And I can of course not talk about fun bright palette without talking about the creepy cute from Shroud. This is an amazing pastel palette. The, this was like the first pastel shades I ever tried. These are the best pastel shades I have ever tried. These are amazing. The black is a really good black. <laughs> the gray, I guess it's a good gray, but I don't like gray eyeshadow that much. But the pastel on this one, these are amazing. Like this, take a hint, it's such a bright, bright green. I did a halo eye once with the green and the black. Love that halo eye. And it's just, they work so, so good. They are really pigmented, all of them. This strawberry milk is amazing as a blush shade. And it is just such a good pastel palette. The only thing I don't like with this is... I haven't found any pastels that is as good as they are, as these are, they are, these are. It is just an amazing, amazing palette. I can, if you want to try pastels and you want really good pastels, this is the palette for you. You can buy this as singles if you don't want all the shades, but I can really recommend this and I don't I didn't need to buy any more pastel palettes after this but I still did but yeah okay and the last category that is really special to me and something that I do really really love is grungy palettes and this was the hardest category to choose and I think I made the right choices. Maybe I should start with the one that I guess all of you know that I'm going to talk about. But yeah, grungy palettes, grungy looks, I love that. I love grungy lips, I love grungy eye makeup. It is just really special to me. <laughs> so of course, the Arcana is one of my absolutely favorite grungy palettes. This is one of my favorite palettes in my collection as well. I do really love this. The shimmers in this palette are one of the best shimmers I have ever tried. Shroud has one of my absolute favorite shimmer formula. It is just amazing. I don't know what they are doing, but they are amazing. They are amazing in every palette I have from them. I have some singles from them that are amazing as well. So they do amazing shimmers. The mattes are so intense and so deep and so dark in this one. It feels like whatever colors you choose from this palette is going to turn out to a grungy look. And that is just... I love it. So if you love grungy looks, I can highly recommend this one. Because you will never fail. You will never fail to do a grungy look with this. And it's just so easy. This is just as the Serenity and the Minority palette and with the Club Nebula. It's just a really easy palette to do looks with. You have a matte green and a shimmer green, a blue of both. These two go really good together and these two or these two and it's just such an 
easy palette to do a grunge look with it's just an easy palette to do looks with overall and I really love this this is a grungy palette dream and another palette from Shrub as well is it's freaking bats it this was the collab with Betty Bean or Beauty Bean that she was named before but Betty Jean and it looks like this I did did I do two looks one palette with this one I think I did and this is this is an amazing palette the shimmers are amazing and this green one this crunchy green this is something that I love so so much and this one this is such a deep deep shade it is amazing to use it's outstanding and also this zero shade it is such an amazing shimmer I love this palette I'm so happy that I got my hands of it and I really think it's like Betty Jean in the palette and she is the one that inspires me the most to do grunge looks and when it came out that she was the one that was doing a collab with Trout, I was, yeah. I was like, yeah, of course it is her. It couldn't be anyone else. And then they show this palette and I was like, this is Betty Jean in the palette. And it is such a cool crunchy palette. I just wished it was bigger. That is my only... It's the only thing I don't like with this. I wish it was more than nine shades. So, the last grungy palette, and this is a newfound love for me. <laughs> this is one of Lethal's pre-made palette, and it, of course, is Velvet Dusk. And I was actually like, can I take one of Lethal's pre-made palettes into this one? Because you can buy these as singles, I'm pretty sure. But I was like, I just love this. This is the Velvet Dusk. This is the 90s Grunge inspired palette. I did do a first impression and I did really like it, but then I forgot about it a little bit, if we can say. And then I did an amazing purple look with this. I can leave that video up here. I did love this look and I am just so inspired to do looks with this. I love that they are like this color I do love and this color I do love and this one is really really nice and I love that it is like this shimmer lighter green I think it can give a really cool vibe or it gives a really cool vibe this grunge palette and I just do love it I just want to play with this more and more and more now when I have used it a little bit more and it is really how should I how I'm trying to get words out that is in here. It's a little bit hard right now. It just gives me a little bit a little moment. Even though maybe not the colors, all the colors are grungy, like in the Arcana palette, together like the whole vibe with this is grungy, cool, and it's you can do dark looks with it and uh, just have like a little pop of something lighter just to have a really good contrast to the dark. For me that I, I love that to do grungy looks and do yeah, like a little pop of something. It feels like I've talked forever. I don't know how long this video will be. I'm guessing a little bit longer. But yeah, I do really hope that you liked this video and it would be so fun to know what you think and which categories you would pick for yourself. I know that Angelica did like drugstore and high-end, but if I'm going to be honest, I do not have that many high-end palettes actually. And yeah, this is what I think now about these categories. I think if I do this video in like two weeks, maybe some of the answers will be different. But yeah, it was really fun and I do really love to talk about eyeshadow palettes. So when I saw this from the Paulina's channel, I was like, yeah, I should do that. And then I saw Angelica's video and I was like, okay, I have to do it. So yeah, 
that was all for this video i do really hope that you liked it and if you know who came up with this first i i think it's so hard to know with these kinds of videos because it's not like a specific like tag video or a super specific idea please let me know i will leave all the people that i could find that seems to have come up with this down in the description but yeah i really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and hope i'll see you in the next one bye